and let's evaluate the limit. This x approaches negative 3 of this fraction that we have here. And what I shall do is factor both the numerator and the denominator. So x squared minus 9. Of course, be, um, I will be assuming here that you are uh, comfortable with factoring. If not, check out our website and uh, type in factoring and you shall find out a lot of find a lot of videos so x squared minus 9 that factors into x plus 3 times x minus 3 it's a difference of two squares right now that I find the 3 just we take the square root of 9 so x plus 3 times x minus 3 that's it what about x squared plus 3x with this I can actually just factor out the common factor which is um, x that's it and what do I get over here x squared divided by x is just x 3x divided by x is just 3 fantastic now can I cancel anything out yes the x plus 3 over x plus 3 they're gone done now this will be limit as x approaches negative 3 of x minus 3 over x initially I couldn't really plug in the negative 3 right away right because I would have gotten 0 in the denominator and that's just not allowed but right now after we have cancelled out the x plus 3's I can actually just plug in the negative 3 for x so I get negative 3 minus 3 all over negative 3 negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6 divided by negative 3 negative negative positive 6 divided by 3 positive 2 and that's it